Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out eyeliner tape versus stamp-on eyeliner. Both of the products I'm trying out today have been all over the internet and you guys have been tagging me constantly, telling me to try it. So today is the day I'll be testing out these products. The companies actually sent me these, so I am excited to see if they work or not. The first product I have here is from Quick Cat. These are their eyeliner strips. In the pack, you get 32 strips, 16 left ones and 16 right ones, and you also get the eyeliner pen. Now for this pack, it costs $14.95. So this is what the strip looks like. Each one is labelled with left or right so you know which eye it goes onto. Also there's little numbers that help with the instructions so you know which one to peel off. The eyeliner pen is a felt tip eyeliner that is water resistant and comes off with soap and water. Now I've quickly read through the instructions. It's not like super hard but it's kind of confusing because there's different zones you need to peel off at certain stages. So I think I might do a practice run first because I know I'm just gonna stuff this up, like for sure. So step one, it says remove waxed backing from strip. Removing the backing from it. Place strip sticky side up on scratch pad below. Apply quick cap liner liberally to zone two on sticky side. So on the instructions, there's a little like area where you can pop this on top and fill it in. So I'm just going to use it to shade in that little wing, that zone two. Slowly and steadily peel zone three apart from clear transfer film so that only in cat eye design remains on the clear strip. Okay, okay, so I just peel that pink area. So I'm left with the little winged eyeliner. I'm just gonna stick it on the back of my hand and test it out on the hand first. So just like rub it and then peel it off. What? What happened there? Did I do it too slow? Only like, only a little bit of it came off. I'm pretty sure I did it right. Am I supposed to peel anything else off? Is this supposed to come off too? Maybe I was supposed to peel this off too. I'm so lost. What the? Okay, wait, I need to go through these instructions again. Okay, so it looks like I did it correctly. Maybe I just did it too slow. I'm gonna go again and I'm gonna make sure I get it right on the back of my hand first before I commit to doing it on my eye. Okay, start again. Peel off the backing. Yep, now that one. Okay, now I fill it in. Fill in the wing. Peel the pink layer off. Come on. Okay. Peeling it off. What the? What happened this time? It, like the eyeliner totally came off. Why? Why? This is supposed to be easy. It's not very easy. Okay. I'm trying it again. I don't think that part was supposed to come off with the pink bee. I wasted another one. Okay. Whew, why do I feel stressed? I'm going again. I'm going to make this work. This is gonna have to work this time because I'm wasting so many strips. Peel off the backing. Quickly fill it in. Whew. Did it, I did it, I did it. Okay, now I'm gonna try on the back of my hand. Just gonna rub it on and then peel off. What? I swear I did it fast enough this time. Come on. What am I doing wrong? I have no idea, what is this? What is what is happening? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna try it on my eye. I've had enough practice. I just don't know why it just doesn't work on my hand. Hopefully it'll work on my eye. Peel it off the backing, colour in this swing. At least I'm getting faster at this. Okay, I filled it in. I'm gonna peel off the pink bit. Oh, we know this. Okay, that's what that kind of came off a little bit. 
but we can make it work. Okay, now I'm just going to stick it on. Okay, I think it's a good area. Give it a couple of rubs to make sure it's adhered. Oh my God, I think it's smudged. <gasps> and then pull off from the inside out. What the? What is happening? Why is this not working? Am I supposed to peel that bit off? I am so confused. I've wasted so many strips doing this. Ugh. Okay, going again. Okay, okay, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna be really quick with these. Peeling off this bit. Oh, it's smudged everywhere. Whatever. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster, but here goes nothing. Smooth it on, press it on, make sure it sticks. Oh, my eye feels really weird. Okay, and then remove. Oh. Finally, some sort of result. Not the best result, but I finally got it to sort of work. On the back of the instructions, it does say, if the transfer design looks a little funky on your eyelid at times, Fill in the gaps with the liquid liner pen. At least I have a little bit of a guide now and something managed to transfer onto my skin. I'm just gonna use the liner to fill it in. What do you guys think of this? That's the liner filled in. I haven't actually lined in here or anything yet, but to be honest, this winged liner is looking a little bit Amy Winehouse right now. It is a bit, it's a bit thicker and more dramatic than what I'm used to. But in the end, I finally managed to get it to work. Did it work perfectly? No, but I got this result. So far, I am not loving this product. I don't think it's very easy to use and it's not very effective because each time you do it, it's gonna change and you're gonna have to fill it in anyway. So when they, they say it's a quick and easy product, maybe if you had lots of practice over time, but to be honest, you would probably go through those 32 strips and then maybe manage to work it out. So in my opinion, I'm not loving it so far. I find it a little bit difficult to use, even as a makeup artist. Anyways, shall we move on to the next product? Here I've got the Vamp Stamp Kit, and it contains the Va Va Boom Stamp, the eyeliner brush, and eyeliner ink. So you can get this kit for $38.25. There's also an additional Vamp Stamp that you can get. It's like a little mini one. It's their Kitten Stamp, so that's for smaller winged liners. Now, a bit of background about the Vamp Stamp. It's actually designed by a makeup artist, Veronica Lawrence, and she actually had a benign spinal cord tumor, which caused her to lose feeling and strength in her hands. So after that, she couldn't really do much makeup, but then she used that experience and designed the Vamp Stamp. It's perfect for beginners or people with shaky hands, or maybe they have nerve injuries, but basically it's an easy tool that you can use that will give you a consistent winged eyeliner. So to use the Vamp Stamp, all you need to do is just dip the stamp into the cushion ink liner, and then you just stamp it on. Hmm, that works so much better compared to the other one. Okay, now for the moment of truth, is it going to work as well on my eyelid? So I'm just going to measure it there. Stamp it on. Hmm, that actually stamped on really well. Maybe I angled it a little bit too high. I would have preferred maybe a bit more slanted that way, but in saying that, it totally worked. It was really simple. The whole thing transferred onto my lid, unlike this one. And you know what? Another plus is you can have your eye makeup done and then just stamp this on. Whilst with this one, if you stick the tape on and pull it off, you're gonna remove some of your eyeshadow. So I think this one, this one looks like it's way better. You also get a small angled eyeliner brush so you can use it to fill in the rest. So I might just do that. So I filled my liner in like how I normally would, but I feel like this little flick is on a weird angle. I might just remove this quickly and maybe I'll try the bigger stamp just to see what it looks like and maybe angle it a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna try the bigger one out. This is the Va Va Boom stamp. 
And same thing, I'm just gonna dip the stamp into the eyeliner ink, and then I'm just gonna stamp it on the back of my hair just to see if it works. Oh, it's a little bit patchy. I don't think I put enough eyeliner on it. Yep, much better. Oh, it's pretty big. Okay, here I go with the bigger one. Hopefully I line it up a little bit better. Ooh. It's actually starting to look a little bit like this one. I thought this would be a little bit too dramatic for me, but after putting it on, I actually quite like it. I think compared to this one, this one definitely looks a lot better and it was so much easier to use and I haven't even gone in to touch it up yet. I think it's a lot easier if you line your eyes up to here and then do the stamp at the end because I feel like you can sort of see where your eyeliner is and sort of match it up better. Um, but overall, it's actually a product that works. I am surprised. I do feel like I need to touch up this little corner to make it a little bit less sort of like angled. So I'm just going to get my liner brush and just soften up that bit. Okay, so I'm pretty much done trying both products and this is the result I'm left with. I think we both know which product is better. Definitely this one. This one is so much better than the eyeliner tape. Even though the vamp stamp is much more expensive than the tape, I think this one works so much better and you're probably gonna get more use out of it because this, you only get 32 strips and you saw me, I like went through a few strips and I just wasted it because it just didn't work. But with this one, you can keep stamping it until the eyeliner ink runs out. I also think the vamp stamp is a lot more innovative compared to this. I feel like because it was designed by a makeup artist, I feel like it actually has a purpose and it actually gives you results. Whilst the eyeliner tape, I feel like it's more of a, like a gimmick, you know, and it does take a lot longer to use or even to learn how to use. You saw that this one, I kind of got straight away. It's pretty, pretty basic, it's pretty straightforward. Whereas this one, there is a lot of variables that can go wrong. So that is my verdict. The vamp stamp is hands down so much better. So that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If there's any other products you want me to compare or to try, let me know below. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.